I'm Janie Bryant and I'm the costume designer of Mad Men. That sounds like it's not really a 9 to 5. It sounds more like an all day. <laughs> it's never 9 to 5. Oh my god. 9 to 5 would be considered to be a short day. <laughs> I've always been interested in fashion. I actually started designing and drawing at a really early age. I was about five or six and that's when I really I became fascinated with the female form. You know, I ended up studying fashion design and I thought that I was going to be a fashion designer. I, I moved to New York, but as fate would have it, I met a costume designer at a Christmas party and we started talking and I, and I was so fascinated with you know, everything that a costume designer did. I was so fascinated with all those details. It wasn't so much about fashion. It was more about the intention and the motivation of a character. So to be able to have, you know, an actor come into my fitting room and then, you know, I do the fitting and then to be able to see the transformation on that actor is is pretty incredible and just remembering the whole process like the creative process the the stress the crew being like oh my god how are we going to finish this and like all of us coming together and being able to make it happen and especially you know when you see like those big scenes on screen there that's always like the most challenging time of you know having the deadlines have, doing all the fittings, making sure that all of the costumes, you know, work together as a whole and to be able to tell the story of each character. My creative process really starts with the script. It's like, you know, what happens when you read an amazing novel that you're just totally obsessed with and you can imagine, you know, what those characters would look like in your mind. And for me, it's about imagining what those characters would wear and, you know, what that is going to say to the audience. A lot of the research that I do for Betty is looking at uh, magazines like Ladies Home Journal, Good Housekeeping. I love looking at the Sears catalog just to look at washer and dryers to really be immersed in like, okay, this is, this is a housewife, you know, during that period. I just, I love that whole idea of the facade of perfection for Betty. I, I wanted the, her color palette to really reflect that too. It's, it's all very perfect and beautiful, but there's like this underlying unhappiness within, within that character. This past year, I've been doing my book tour because I have a book out that's called The Fashion File. I wanted to speak about dressing up. I think men and women get confused about what to wear, or what looks great on them, or afraid to express themselves. And I, I just, I wanted to try to help people to have a little crush on themselves. My personal style is eclectic, really. You know, even today I'm wearing my my polyester 1970s <laughs> blouse that I love so much. My piece of advice for anybody who wants to get into costume design and be a costume designer, I, I really think it's about being focused on what you want, concentrate on that, and stay positive. I think if you say, you know what, I'm going to get a job in the film business, I'm going to meet somebody who's going to connect me to somebody who just really takes that kind of attitude to, to get the job, to move forward, to get what you want, and uh, you know, learn a lot along the way.